Attack and counterattack. It was the common language of the frontiersmen in the Cherokee. Through the deafening roar of battle cries and gunfire, a gentle voice struggled to be heard. Clear and pure, it was the voice of Nancy Ward. Her timeless plea was for peace. Today, the Heartland series brings you the story of Nancy Ward, beloved woman of the Cherokee and friend of the pioneer. For 30 years, the Creeks and the Cherokee fought many bloody skirmishes over prized hunting ground. During one of these encounters, the Cherokees were taking a fierce beating when the leader of their war party was killed. Nanyehi, the 17-year-old wife, took up his gun and joined the battle. Inspired by her courage, the retreating Cherokee turned and routed the enemy. Victory was so complete that the Creeks abandoned the disputed land. For her valor in combat, Nanyehi was made a beloved woman. She married a white fur trader and took the name of Nancy Ward. During the Revolutionary War, the Cherokee sided with the British, and war parties went in search of pioneer scouts. Nancy Ward realized that attacking white settlements would only inflame the newcomers, causing a full-scale counterattack against her people. Thinking of the lives at stake on both sides, she warned the frontier settlements of the impending attacks. Her advance warning enabled the Watagans to defeat the Cherokee at Fort Watauga. But the beaten warriors did not go home empty-handed. They captured Lydia Bean, the wife of East Tennessee's first permanent white settler. She was to be burned at the stake. Lydia Bean prayed for her soul as a vengeful crowd gathered about her. Because she was a beloved woman, Nancy Ward had the power of life or death over Cherokee prisoners. She spared the life of the terrified white woman. Lydia Bean went on to teach Nancy Ward and other Cherokee women how to cultivate milk cows for butter and cheese. It was a small step toward peace between contrasting cultures. It was a peace that was destined not to last. Nancy Ward found herself in a world determined to take the path of war and bloodshed. But this beloved woman commanded the respect of men and women alike and would not be silenced. You know that women are always looked upon as nothing. But we are your mothers. You are our sons. Our cry is all for peace. Let it continue. This peace must last forever. Nancy Ward's devotion to peace never faltered. She spared the lives of countless white settlers. She counseled the Cherokee to keep their lands and to remain free and proud. Her wisdom and strength made her the most admired and respected woman in Cherokee history. Nancy Ward was a voice of reason in a troubled land. She died in 1822 and is buried here near Benton, Tennessee. It is said that at her funeral, a magical light rose above her body and like a bird, flew back across the mountains to Chota, the sacred city of the Cherokee. 